Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel GSIPUC Mysuru. In today's session, we will be solving some of the problems related to power of a circuit. Later, we will be moving to the next topic of the same chapter that is principles of electricity, network theorems and AC principles. So, the very first problem related to power is a 60 watt light bulb is connected to 220 volts power supply. What is the current that flows through the bulb? Find the resistance of the bulb. So, in this particular problem, they have given the power that is 60 watts. If the power is 60 watts, they are going to specify uh, any parameter with its unit. 60 watts, watt is the unit of power. So, in this particular problem, P is given whose value is equal to 60 watt. Is connected to 220 volts power supply. 220 volts. So 220 volts and the head volts is the unit of voltage. So V is equal to 220 volts. What is the current that flows through the bulb? Find the resistance of the bulb. What is the current? Current and the it is I. And find the resistance of the bulb. Find the resistance of the bulb and the it is equal to R. So you have to find out I and R for the given value of P and V. So in the last class itself, we discussed about this formula. P is equal to V into I R, which is equal to I square into R or V square divided by R. So out of uh, these three, we have to use this particular formula where we are knowing two quantities, power and voltage go there, I can easily find out I. So, I is equal to P divided by V. So, P divided by V and the power value is equal to 60 and uh, voltage value is equal to 220. So, the answer is 60 divided by 220 gives me 0. 272 the unit of power sorry the unit of current is amps so i is equal to 0 0.272 amps now i have to find out we have found out this current i now i have to find out r v is equal to i into r according to ohm's law so r is equal to v divided by i where i is equal to 220 and i is uh, sorry v is equal to 220 and i is equal to 0 0.272 so 220 divided by 0.272 gives me 808.8 the unit of resistance is ohms so this is the value of i and r for the given problem you cannot use this formula to calculate I or R initially. You can really I no gotila, R no gotila, so you cannot use this formula. And uh, E formula and held uh, P is equal to V square divided by R, other than use mod bodu, where you can uh, easily find out the value of R for which V and P value is given. To find out any of the parameter or any of the quantity, you have to know the two values. Here three parameters you want the formula and then third. Say for example, in this particular formula, P is equal to V into I. P is one parameter, voltage is another parameter and I is another parameter. That is totally we are having three parameters out of which we have to know the value of two parameters. Only then you can find out the third parameter. Yeah. So, this is the first problem. Now, we will move on to the next problem. A mixer is operated with 230 volts of AC supplied with a power rating of 460 watts. 230 volts of AC. 230 volts of AC and then its value is equal to voltage. With a power rating of 460 watts, 460 watts, watt is the unit of power, so P is equal to 460 watts for 1 minute, for 1 minute they are telling you the time for 1 minute, then find the current flowing through it and the number of electrons flowing in 1 minute. Find the current flowing through it. Current and the handle, it is equal to I. So, you have to find out I and 
the number of electrons flowing in one minute. The number of electrons and the n na now kandidi beko. So for the given value of voltage, power and time period, you have to find out the current as well as the uh, number of electrons that is n. So here power is known, V is known, you can easily find out I using the same simple formula P is equal to V into I where I is equal to P divided by V. P is equal to 460 and uh, V is equal to 230 which gives me 2 amps. Clear? Now we found out I. Now we have to find out the N that is number of electrons. We are having this formula I is equal to Q divided by T. But I don't know the value of Q. Charges and the N kotti laili. But that charge Q can be written as N into E divided by T. So I is equal to N into E divided by T where I is nothing but the current. N is the number of electron. E is uh, the, the charge of an electron that is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 T is time period in seconds but here they have given in minutes so you have to convert that into seconds we are going to do that now I have to find out n so we are just going to alter this expression where n will be equal to i into t divided by e where i value is i value it is 2 uh, t is equal to 1 minute there, but here t is measured in seconds. So, 1 minute na seconds e convert maad bhai kon thay adhe 1 into 60 divided by e 1.602 into 10 to the power of minus 19. So, solve this 2 into 60 divided by 1.602 gives me 74.9 into 10 to the power of minus 19 is in the denominator when it is taken to the numerator its power will be equal to 10 to the power of plus 19 so totally we need 74.9 into 10 to the power of minus plus 19 number of electrons in order to get a current of 2 amps for 1 minute clear so this is the second problem now we'll move on to the next problem the specification of an iron box are labeled as 230 AC 350 watts. Calculate the resistance of the iron box. The specification of an iron box are labeled as 230 volts AC. 230 volts AC and Thandaga, its value is equal to voltage. 350 watts. 350 watts and Thandaga, it is nothing but power. Clear? You have to find out, calculate the resistance of the iron box. You have to find out R. So, I know P, V and R. We are having a single relationship between all these three parameters where P is equal to V square divided by R. But, I have to alter this expression as R is equal to V square divided by P. V square divided by P where V value is equal to 230 230 into 230 that is 230 whole square divided by 350. So, 230 into 230 divided by 350 gives me R as 151.1 the unit for this resistance is ohms. So, R value is 151.1 ohms clear the problems are very very simple whenever they have given the power that is any number with the unit watts and that value is equal to power and so we are having three different relationship between the power and other parameters like voltage current and resistance so accordingly you have to choose one particular formula and you have to find out the asked parameter clear now we'll move on to the next topic of the same chapter DC sources. So, what is this DC sources? DC sources supply DC voltage or current to the circuit or load. Load and tandre heno. Load and the heradre, uh, which is consuming the power that itself will be called as a load. Say, for example, 
ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಲೈಟು ಕೂಡ ಆನ್ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ದ ಲೋಡ್ ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಲೈಟ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಷಿನ್ ಫ್ರಿಡ್ಜ್ ಯಾವ್ದೇ ರೀತಿಯಾದಂತ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಆನ್ ಯಾವ್ದೇ ರೀತಿಯಾದಂತ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ನ ನಾನು ಟರ್ನ್ ಆನ್ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ದ ಕನ್ಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪವರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಮೀಟಿ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವ್ದೇ ರೀತಿಯಾದಂತ ಲೋಡ್ ಆನ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆನಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಬಲ್ಬ್ ಯಾವ್ದೋ ಒಂದು ಸ್ವಿಚ್ ನಾನು ಆನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅವಾಗ ಲೋಡ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅವಾಗ ದ ಲೋಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಕನ್ಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಬಲ್ಬ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದೇ ನಾನು ಎಲ್ಲ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಷಿನ್ ಫ್ರಿಡ್ಜ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಟಿ ವಿ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಆನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅವಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಲೋಡ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಲೋಡ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪವರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಡಿ ಸಿ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಅ ಲೋಡ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಆ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇರುವಂತಹ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ನ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಇರುವಂತಹ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಕಾಂಪೊನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ಲೋಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿಬಹುದು ದಿಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟರೀಸ್ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟರೀಸ್ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಯು ಹವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸೀನ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ತರದಂತ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ನೈನ್ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಈ ತರ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ತರದಂತ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ರಿಮೋಟ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟಿ ವಿ ರಿಮೋಟ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ನು ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಫೋನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಫೋನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವಂತ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ದೀಸ್ ಡೇಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಟು ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಜನರೇಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಸಿಟಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅದರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ದ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ದೀಸ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಷನ್ಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ವಿ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಟು ಅಪೋಸ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಫ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ಐಡಿಯಲಿ ಹೇಳೋದಾದ್ರೆ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ನನ್ಗೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿಯಾದಂತ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ಹೇಳೋದಾದ್ರೆ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಈವನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ
ಈ ತರ ಬರೀತೀವಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಿನೋಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ವಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ನ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಇನ್ಬಿಲ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗಡೆನೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಸೀನ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸಮ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಿನೋಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ s and this internal resistance depends upon the size of the battery uh, the chemical property of the battery or the chemical property of the source irbodu so there are many different parameters on which the value of this internal resistance varies or the value of this internal resistance depends clear now let us see what is the difference between a cell and a battery cell anta heldaga you have already seen those cells batteries kuda nodidira hagid mele cell gu battery gu en difference cell is nothing but a source of an electrical energy even the battery is also a source of electrical energy but a combination of cells together will be called as a battery on the cell anta heldaga adu 1.5 volts or 5 volts or 9 volts ee tara bere bere taradanta voltage rating iruvanta cells nange sigutte but battery anta bandaga even they are available with different ranges but uh, a combination of all these cells together can be called as a uh, battery on the cell na nanu ee tara represent martini this is a cell where the uh, longer straight line will be represented by the positive terminal of the battery and the shorter straight line will be represented by represented as the negative terminal of the bat- uh, cell uh, battery anta heldaga a combination of cells together battery ant helidre i am not just going to write one positive and one negative we are going to write two sets of the cell so this is the symbolic representation of a battery suppose nan natha bari 1.5 volts iruvanta nalaku bat cell galide but i want a voltage of 4 volts ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಆವಾಗ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಬರೀ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇರುವಂತ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅದೇ ನನಗ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋದು ತ್ರೀ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ವೇ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರೀ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಹೇಗೆ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ನ ನಾನು ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಸೆಲ್ this is another cell when i am going to connect all these cells serially that is the negative terminal of one cell is connected to positive terminal of the other cell the negative terminal of the second cell is connected to positive terminal of the third cell then i am going to get a output voltage whose value is equal to this is 1.5 this is 1.5 this is 1.5 voltage iruvanta battery so so 1.5 plus 1.5 which is equal to 3 volts but 3 plus 1.5 totally i am getting 4.5 volts at the output that is ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ ದು ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಲ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ ದು ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಲ್ ಎರಡೂ ನಾನು ಎರಡು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ನಾನು ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ನ ಮೆಜರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇದು ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಥಿಯರಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಕೇಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ಬಂದಾಗ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ some of the voltage will be consumed by the internal resistance of these three cells or some of the voltage will be dropped so series combinations of these cells give me the desired voltage adhe parallel combination of these cells give me the desired current parallel combination ant heladre we are going to connect the cells in this particular manner so all the positive terminals and all the negative terminals will be shorted and then we can measure the current at this end so in order to get the desired current we need to connect these batteries or these cells in parallel connection adhe cells na nanu series age connect madidre desired voltage sigutte in order to get the desired current we are going to connect the cells in parallel there are different types of cells cells athwa batteries uh, 
basically these batteries are classified into primary cells and secondary cells. What is this primary cell and secondary cells? Primary cells are not rechargeable. Primary cells and secondary cells. Primary cells are not rechargeable. So, uh, whatever the cells we are going to use in the TV remotes or the clocks, all those can be considered as the primary cells. Secondary cells and the health ray, the cells which can be recharged is called as a secondary cells. The example is uh, our mobile phone batteries itself is a secondary cells which can be recharged which can be charged again and again so it is called as recharge some of the examples for these primary cells and uh, these secondary cells and the head of the zinc carbon batteries and alkaline batteries are the examples for zinc carbon and alkaline batteries are the example for primary batteries whereas coming to the secondary cells it is lithium ion batteries or nickel cadmium batteries all these comes under this secondary batteries primary batteries are uh, not rechargeable whereas secondary batteries are rechargeable the best example for secondary batteries is the batteries of our mobile phones clear when it comes to types of cells types of cells and the hell Broadly, these cells are of two types. One is the wet cell, the other one is a dry cell. So, what is this wet cell? Wet cell and the hell the electrolyte will be in the form of a liquid, and that liquid will be stored in a glass container above which the lead rods will be dipped, and those lead rods will be acting as the positive and the negative terminals of the battery. These uh, wet cells are uh, most widely uh, seen in our physics lab as well as our chemistry lab. You are going to see these wet cells. Uh, these wet cells are not much safer to use in all of the applications because there are there are chances of spilling of this electrolyte which is very much essential for a uh, battery or for a cell. Are they dry cell and the hell daga? Here, electrolyte will be present but that will be in the form of a paste that will not be in the form of a liquid so that will be in the form of a paste so it is not uh, spilling out and the hell bodu are there the examples for this wet cell and the hell daga it is leclanche cell agir bodu bunsen cell agir bodu all these cells we are going to see in our physics as well as chemistry lab coming to this dry cell uh, the cells what we are using in the tv remotes ir bodu athwa clocks ir bodu athwa mobile nal use maduvanta lithium ion or uh, this nickel cadmium ir bodu zinc carbon all these comes under this dry cells where the electrolytes are present in the form of a paste but not in the form of a liquid clear another best example for this wet cell or the wet battery is the battery is what we are going to use in the UPSC system where uh, there will be the electrolyte in the form of a liquid so you are going to see some spilling of these uh, electrolytes on the surface of the batteries I want you people to observe the uh, cells what you are going to use in your remote controls that is TV remotes as well as in your clocks and uh, in your mobile phones also. I want you people to watch the voltage ratings of these particular cells and also the spilling of the electrolyte on the surface of the batteries what we are going to use in the UPS sets. Clear? Now let me conclude this session at this point. I will be coming soon with a new topic. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.